Hey everyone, I'm Brian. I'm Tyler. And we're Gardener in Love. Hey guys, welcome to part one of establishing our moon garden. So if you watched our video last week, you saw us in this space planting a white David Austin rose, and we told you that we were gonna turn this space into a moon garden. So today we're kicking it off by planting our cone boxwoods and our birch tree that we got in our pike vlog. Our birch tree got delivered a couple of days ago and it looks really cool in the space. We also have 14 sprinter boxwoods that we'll be planting as well for a nice little micro hedge. So the micro hedge, the cone boxwoods will give us some nice formality and foundation. And then the birch tree will give us some nice height and some really great fall color. We'll also be planting up this space with some flowering shrubs, some perennials, and even annuals. We wanna make sure that we have interest at different times of the year. So we'll have some summer interest with our annuals. We'll have some early spring interest with some of our flowering shrubs that we've chosen. We'll have fall interest with the birch tree, and then we'll have winter interest with the boxwoods. For us, we wanna make sure that this space looks beautiful no matter what time of year it is. So before we get started, we wanna show you the space. All right, so this is a space in its current state. So last year we planted annuals and different things in the space because we just knew we weren't sure exactly what we wanted to do with it. We knew it would change. Um, and we finally decided that we wanted to make it a moon garden. Um, and so we are starting with our foundation, with our boxwoods and with the birch tree, but we wanted to go ahead and show you everything and all the space that we have here. So around the trellis, we're gonna start there with our foundation of the cone boxwoods and with the, the micro hedge, um, and then we'll come in later. That space over there gets a lot more uh, shade than the rest of the space, and we'll, so we'll probably be popping in things that will bloom in that space uh, in the shade. Um, and, and then as we come to the right here, we get a lot more sun, and then we'll have the birch tree that'll shade just a little bit. You can see we've got an arbor variety back there that we'll have to move, um, but other than that, we're ready for our boxwood hedge right around the trellis. So the first thing we're gonna do is lay out our boxwood hedge and make sure that we like the placement before we plant. All right, so we've got our boxwood hedge all placed in the perfect spot. We're really happy with it. The idea for this space was just that since this is the back of our garden, we wanted to anchor this space with some level of formality, but we know that we're gonna come in this space and plant it with lots of perennials and lots of annuals because that's just who we are. So the only thing we've got left to do is plant it. All right, everyone, it is a new day. We lost light when we were uh, planting all the boxwoods and the sun went down just in time. We finished it all up. We do both have day jobs, so if it's not the weekend, we only get to be in the garden at certain times. We did finish just in time last night. However, when we came back out here today and looked at the boxwood, we did some shifting and things just weren't right. Um, but it's really beautiful now, we love it. And we're gonna plant the birch tree now, which is gonna be the final part. Yeah, we'll show you the boxwoods that we just adjusted slightly, and then we're gonna get to planting the birch tree. 
All right, so we made the most minor adjustment here, but we have these boxwoods on either side. They're the cones. Um, we just noticed that they were a little bit too far back and uh, they weren't quite giving the um, the smaller hedge that space. So we wanted to move them forward just a little bit. That way they were more in line. And I think they, they add, bringing them forward really helped with adding weight to the front of the bed too. So uh, that was just a small adjustment, but it really made a big difference. So we're really happy with this hedge now and uh, I think it's gonna grow in nicely. Yeah, we wanted to make sure that the small boxwood hedge kind of disappears behind the cones. And as they grow up, the cones will also get to keep their shape, which will be really nice. Yeah. So the only thing left to do is plant that birch tree. Let's get to it. All right. So over here is where we'll be planting the birch tree. As you can see right there behind it, we've got one of our North Pole arborvitaes that we've got to dig up and move. But we've got another spot for it in our garden that is going to work perfectly. Um, which is honestly the best part of planting new flower beds. It's like shopping in your own garden. So we've got our birch tree all planted up and in its place. It looks so magical and I love the boxwood hedge too. That is like a dream of mine come true. All right, so we did want to let you guys know what we planted this birch tree with. Um, we had some amendments, and so um, we added in some Daddy Pete's planting mix and some Biotone, and uh, I think that that should work perfectly. We planted our Japanese maple last summer with that mix, and it is thriving. And this is what works for us. We've got really heavy clay here. Yep. Um, may not work for you, but we've we've done a little bit of a trial and error with this, and yep. we like this planting method. Yeah. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is part one of our moon garden series. We are making this back flower bed behind us, 
a moon garden which is all white blooms so be on the lookout for our next videos uh, the next one will be showing you the flowering shrubs we have chosen for these spots and some of them are blooming right now and they are so beautiful i'm so hoping pretty. they're gonna hold on to their blooms by the time we film all right well we hope you guys really enjoyed this we are so excited about this space thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one bye